What if I told you that you could retire a millionaire with just a hundred dollars a week? Now, I know I'm just a random guy on YouTube, so what do I know? But what if Kevin O'Leary told you the same thing? Would you believe it then? Well, watch this video until the end to find out how. What's up everybody, I am Jaspreet Singh from the TheMinorityMindset.com and welcome to The Minority Mindset. I think we can all agree that most people want to retire a millionaire, that way you can enjoy your golden years. <sighs> Time to sit on the beach, relax, and order some extra guac. The problem is, most people don't retire millionaires. Uh, on second thought, why don't you just hold the guac? Retiring wealthy is really just about consistency and preparation, and the sooner you start, the richer you'll become. It's a lot more accessible than you might think. If you do it correctly, you can start with just $100 a week and retire a millionaire. Don't just take my word for it. Kevin O'Leary, Mr. Wonderful, did an interview with MarketWatch where he talked about how you can retire a millionaire by investing just $100 a week. In case you don't know who Kevin O'Leary is, he is one of the sharks or investors on Shark Tank, and he's probably the most savage shark there is. If you don't hit that thumbs up button, you're dead to me. Anyways, today I want to talk about Kevin O'Leary's strategy for how you can retire a millionaire. But before we get into that, smash that thumbs up button below, subscribe to the Minority Mindset YouTube channel, and if you want YouTube to actually let you know when our new financial news and education videos are released, hit that little notification bell too. Kevin started the interview by talking about how the whole idea of retiring at 65 doesn't make sense anymore because our economy doesn't support it, and because most people aren't doing enough to retire by 65. 100 million Americans have zero dollars nothing invested for retirement right now, and this became painfully true during this 2020 pandemic. As soon as the economy shut down, people panicked. Not because they were worried about what was going on with the pandemic, but because so many Americans were living hand to mouth. They made a dollar, and then they spent a dollar. And actually for a lot of Americans, it was you make a dollar, and then you spend a dollar, plus a quarter, with the help of your credit card. When the economy shut down, lots of businesses that Kevin O'Leary is a part of and invested in were trying to get money or loans from the government and that's when he found out that a lot of the companies that he is investing in have these business owners that have great companies but these business owners have no money invested or saved for retirement. That's why according to him the first step to getting that million dollars is by doing what he calls the 90 day test. Look at every dollar and every penny you earned over the last 90 days. This could be from your job, your side hustle, your business, your investments, whatever. Add up all the money you made over the last 90 days. Then do the same thing with your expenses. Put out your bank statements and your credit card statements and add up all the transactions you made over the last 90 days and look at how much money you spent. Now compare the two numbers. Most people are spending just as much money as they're making or they're spending more money that they're making through the help of their credit card where now they have to make up this difference by paying 15, 20, 25 percent interest to the credit card. This spending habit of spending more money that you're making is destroying your net worth because your money is constantly going out and it's compounding for your credit card company making them rich while it's keeping you broke. Once you see where your money is going, that's when you can do something about it. Most people are spending a lot of money on stuff that they don't need. According to Kevin, most people should be able to cut down their expenses by a minimum of 15% by just doing one thing, buying less crap. But Jaspreet, my cousin Bunty told me that Gucci is an investment. Unless you're getting paid to wear it, it's not an investment. Then put aside $100 a week minimum and invest it so you can retire a millionaire and now we're gonna work backwards to see how to do that. The average life expectancy for somebody in a America is between 75 and 80 years old. And if you want to retire at 65, you need to know how much money you're going to need to retire that way you don't run out of money. To keep things simple, let's say that you and your spouse need $50,000 a year after taxes to be able to live free and maintain your lifestyle. When you turn 65, you better have an investment fund big enough that you can pull out $50,000 a year after taxes for the rest of your life. To make that happen, you should not be pulling out more than 6% of your assets a year. But you also got to calculate taxes. If you pull out 6% of your assets, the first thing you're going to have to do is pay the government government because the government wants to get their fair share out of your retirement too. So if you pull out 6% of your assets, you're really only going to keep 4% because 2% is going to go to the government. I know all these vague numbers are getting confusing, so let me put some numbers on this so it makes more sense. If you need $50,000 a year after taxes to maintain your lifestyle, 
that means you gotta be pulling out something like $75,000 a year before taxes. That way you're left with $50,000 after taxes. This $75,000 that you're pulling out a year should not be more than 6% of your total assets because you wanna make sure that your investment fund, your whole nest egg is gonna last you for the rest of your life. So if $75,000 is 6% of your total assets, then you do $75,000 divided by 6%. And this tells you that you will need $1.25 million in order to be able to live your life for the rest of your life at this lifestyle. There's other ways to fund your retirement besides just having a big nest egg. You can invest your million dollars into something that produces cash flow or passive income like real estate, but you gotta just find what's right for you. Now that you actually know how much money you need, how can you start off with $100 a week and turn it into a million dollars? For one, you do not have to be a stock picker, okay? Most people should not be in the business of trying to pick stocks to begin with. Most people who invest their money in the stock market by trying to pick stocks lose money not because they pick bad stocks but because they get emotional <laughs> Tesla I love you but why does your stock keep breaking my heart the way that a lot of newer investors who don't have investing experience invest in stocks is they buy into a company that they think is cool and then the stock starts to go up which is great and then something happens, the stock goes down for a little bit, and now you see your portfolio in the red, and now people start to panic, they get worried, they get anxiety, and so they panic sell their stock because they cannot stand seeing their investment at a loss. There's a lot more to investing in stocks than just picking good stocks. A simpler way to invest your money is to invest the bulk of your investment money into a low cost index fund that just matches the market, and then use a little bit of your investment money to invest into individual companies and stocks that you like. An index fund is a fund that invest into a bunch of different stocks. Now, instead of you trying to pick the best company to invest in, you can invest your money into this fund, and this fund is now going to invest into a bunch of different stocks, so now you're getting exposure to a whole bunch of different stocks instead of just one. Back in the day, the common way to invest into a fund that gave you exposure to a lot of stocks was by investing your money into a fund that was managed by a very experienced but very expensive money manager. These are called actively managed funds, and they have their place, but they are very expensive, and there are better options options now. Your money manager is going to take a big chunk of your assets every single year whether you make money or you lose money and if they make you money they are now also going to take a quarter of your profits. And if that wasn't bad enough the vast majority of money managers cannot beat the market over the long run. So you're paying huge fees to get average returns. That's when low cost index funds came into the picture which allow you just to invest into the stock market. So if the stock market goes up your index fund goes up. If the stock market goes down your index fund goes down and now you you don't have to worry about paying a whole bunch of money to an expensive money manager. There are funds that you can buy off your stock brokerage that will give you exposure to literally the top 500 companies in the stock market. So when the stock market goes up, so does your fund. Now the bulk of your money is going into your investments instead of your money manager's pockets. Are you guaranteed to make money? No, investing has risks. You are never guaranteed to make money when you invest. You might even lose money, which is why you should always do your own due diligence and never blindly listen to a random guy on YouTube. But let's do the math using some historical numbers. If you invest $100 a month, that's $5,200 a year. Goldman Sachs did a study where they looked at the stock market over a period of 140 years, and what they found is that over any 10-year period, the stock market grew by on average 9.2%. Past performance is not a reliable indicator for future performance, so let's say the stock market continues to go up on average over the long term, not by 9.2% a year, but by something like 8% a year. Now you're investing $5,200 a year and you're getting an 8% return on your money every single year on average. And if you start this when you're 25 years old and you do this until you're 65, your $100 a week will grow from $100 a week to more than one4 million dollars. This doesn't mean that the stock market is going to always go up. This number factors in the fact that sometimes the stock market is going to go down and sometimes it's going to go up big. So it's the average. If you are older and you have not started planning for your retirement or putting money away for your investments, you're not out of luck. You just have to be more strategic. You can be more aggressive with your investments. That way you can try to get a better return on your money or you can try to earn more money. That way you can double or triple, maybe even quadruple your weekly investments. The best case scenario is to obviously start investing as soon as you get your first job. But the reality is most of us are never taught about money or investing when we're growing up. I was the same way. That's what pushed me to start Minority Mindset. You have to make deal with what cards are dealt. 
Then you gotta understand the numbers, work backwards, and make a plan to make it happen. I know this can seem like a daunting task, but if you're looking for more resources on how to manage your money and invest your money better, that's why we wrote a free ebook on money management and investing that you can read for free when you sign up for our financial education emails, which are also free. You can get a free ebook and start reading our financial education emails by clicking the link up here or by clicking the link in the description below. By the way, our financial education emails are separate from our financial news emails. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, share it with one friend. That way we can help spread the word. If you want to learn more about how you can earn $1,000 a month in passive income from the stock market using dividends, I already made a video on this and you can watch this video on YouTube by clicking this button right over here. Thank you for watching and as always, keep hustling.